Okay, this year is dedicated to Rachel Leah, Bas Rachel Tzvi, as always. It should be an Aliyah for Hanashama. Today we're going to do some questions and answers. My niece is a 21 year old Beis Yaakov graduate. She's majored in, bi- in biochemical engineering and cancer research. Her middas are exemplary. She's a pretty girl. She davens three times a day. She travels to Manhattan to learn with a partner in Torah despite her very pressured schedule. She's soft-spoken, yet strong, and it's Sanua. In short, she's a very special young lady spiritually, and has set a very special goal for her lifetime. She's dedicated to finding the cure for cancer. Why isn't she getting any Shaduchim calls? My sister and her husband are communally active. They'll help as much as they can if my niece were to marry a young man who would sit and learn. Yet it seems the parents of potential dates are afraid to consider my niece because of her choice of career. I have spoken to my sister about their decision to channel my niece's higher education into such a specialty and how it conflicts with the type of young man she would like to marry. She says that she's turned off from the Shidduch scene and she believes that my niece has a very special relationship with her brother Shalolam and that she's not worried. She knows what they're doing is what they're supposed to do and when the right one is supposed to come along, he will. That's good (laughs) and I'm sure that that's the case. I will throw in a few um, ideas that the, that, the, um, that the writer may not have considered. My own experience is I don't know, again, I don't know everyone in the world, I don't know many young men who would be put off by her career choice. I do know young men who would be put off by what they might perceive as her commitment to her career. These are two different things. Having um, a career such as your niece's career is only good from a yeshiva man's perspective. It's idealistic, it probably pays well, not compared to, let's say, being a doctor, but certainly compared to being a computer programmer. It requires intelligence, which is often um, what an intelligent young man would like to find in his partner. However, there are people in research who are in research, and that's their life. Most young men want to marry somebody for whom family would be their number one priority and career their second priority. So I could see where that could be an issue. If that's the case, which I don't know is a fact, I'm just supposing this, it would be important, it would be important for your sister to make mention of how many hours her daughter actually expects to be putting into research once she's married. Does she want this to be an eight-hour job or does she want it to be a 16-hour job? So if um, her desire is to be Madame Curie, you're not going to find too many people on the Kolel route who want to be married to her because they don't want to be house husbands. And um, she would have to put it out if that's, not her, if that's not her idea, she should let people know that. Now another thing that, um, that, might, that you might want to consider in this picture is that... Um, You say that you've spoken to your sister about their decision, etc., etc. Are you really sure that this is the issue? There are so many things that people consider when they think about a shidduch for their son. I don't think that career choice is necessarily number one on the list. Your niece surely has very many miles. You wrote, she's she's, um, soft-spoken, strong, and it's sanua. Is she personable? What does she look like? Um, Who are her friends? These are also part of this picture. In general, when people are looking for shidduch, the considerations will range in the following order. Do I respect the person and what they do? Do I like the person? Do we have something in common? And are our life goals compatible? So there's nothing about what what you're telling me about your niece that would put her out of the running in the case of most American-born non-Hasidic yeshiva boys who want to learn. So that makes me think either that the issue is their fear of um, an unusual level of commitment to career over family, or that there may be other ingredients in the cake that you didn't even notice are missing because because you're focused on this, when in fact the issue may be something else. Now there's obviously a third possibility the third possibility, which your sister seems attuned to, is that the Rabbana Shalom 
has somebody for your niece, and he'll be there when he needs to be there. Not everybody gets married at 19. Not everybody has to get net married at 19. It could be that he or she have to travel through what they have to travel through in life until they're ready to meet each other. In any case, you should, they should, she and uh, your sister, and you should hear good things. So we should hear Basuras Tovas. Oh, there's more to this question. Oops. Okay, I didn't even realize this. The woman who wrote it mentioned, I didn't marry till age 35, and I'm very close to my niece. I'm afraid that my niece's choice might lead her towards a long journey in the world of Shaduchim. I don't believe that they made the right